I just doubled up on crypto. I just doubled down. Matt material. Das Auto. You get a fresh You get a fresh <laughs> <laughs> On that note, let's get it installed, huh? like a duplex. You bet. Okay, so. Since it's freezing cold outside, we're gonna see how much we can actually assemble in the basement here. First, we're gonna take the aluminum air box heat shield combo, and then we're gonna attach the air filter using the included hose clamps to the inlet on the inside of the air box. It might take a little lubrication to get it on, and then you're gonna tighten the hose clamp using a Phillips head screwdriver. Cool, that's good to go. Now we have this 90 degree hose we're gonna install on the lip on the other side of the air box. Next in the progression here is going to be the mass airflow sensor housing, but we'll do that under the hood of the car. And the other side of the mass airflow sensor housing will connect to this boot here, which connects to the rest of the intake. When you're pre-assembling stuff like this, it's a good idea to make sure that the screws are facing upwards and are clearly accessible. So if you need to take anything apart, you can untighten the screws from there. So now we have this downsizing boot here which is going to connect the intake to the turbo inlet tube all right let's do it it's funny last time I replaced the cold air intake it was also minus 30 take a look here we have this is the air box this is what we are replacing all right that is off of there now we have this tube off of the mass airflow sensor housing. We're gonna take off the engine cover. Wow, this would be so much easier in daylight. So next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take... <laughs> this is the same tool that I don't have. See that little sucker? Sucker. <laughs> What is this? Why is it mounted to... You know what? Got a baggie full of Allens. One thing I do have a knack for is finding the exact size Allen that I need on the first try every time. And shabam, what'd I say? Oh, this whole f***ing thing's the airbox. Oh my god! Epiphany. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. <sighs> do you want to fast forward to when... We're outside during the day. <laughs> when I have the proper tool? Yes. In three, two, one. All right, let's do it. Well, look what came in the mail. It is a Schwaben, Schwaben 46 piece socket set. I got it off of ECS tuning. The build quality is really nice. This ran me about $46. Awesome, so let's work on getting this old air box out. The first size we're gonna use here is a T20 for the main screws holding the air box in. Oh, I see. This is the epitome of trial and error. And this is not even the hardest job to do. All right, we're gonna put this extension on again. Let's try a T20. There's two bolts holding this, this front air intake here. That's where this extension comes in. So that's another, uh, that's another T20 right there. This extension is perfect. <sighs> now I should be able to just take my secondary air filter. I'm just gonna take the top of the air box here off and see what I'm left with first. Hey, what's up, man? Ah, uh, uh, front door, yeah. Thank you. Take that secondary air filter off. All right. <laughs> what is this? I didn't order anything from ECS tuning besides the, the Schwaben kit. This is very peculiar. What? Sir, <laughs> please come back. I'll check on this after we install. Okay. I'm kind of straining the mass airflow sensor wire right now, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attach this tubing here. How do I get this box out? I know there's a bolt here, and there's a second one here, but it has like this rubber sort of bushing. So here's the air box, and this rubber bushing is holding it in to the whole tray system here. 
So, I think I just need to pop that off. Aha! Oh shit, 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 shit. Just so you guys can see a little better, I'm gonna get a shot of my phone as to where this um, this clip is here. It is on the back side of this pipe. So if you can see it and I don't drop my phone, it's right there on the back side. That shouldn't be too bad as long as I don't drop anything. <sighs> there goes my wrench. I don't know where it went. Oh no. Just in case. There's actually a tool that they sell specialized to clipping those so you can take it off. I'll link down below to them. Maybe ECS will accidentally send me one in the future. Let's try the big boy. It is so tight in this engine bay. The humble mechanic truly is a humble man. Ah, <laughs> I didn't drop him. <laughs> oh, shit. We have a couple extras, don't worry. <laughs> Just for the record, it was not this difficult to install a cold air intake on my Mustang. It's actually one of the easiest mods you can do. But since this is a Volkswagen, everything's gotta be a little more difficult. Take this goddamn thing off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so strange. I feel like half the stuff on Volkswagens takes brute force to get off, and half of it just takes finesse. That's what. God damn, how the hell the Volkswagen mechanics do it? Ah, uh, I just fing broke it. I just broke it. I just broke it. Awesome. Oh, God. Wow. That was way more difficult than it had to be. All right, it's really starting to drizzle now, so I think I should hurry up the pace. Okay, looking pretty good. I don't know if that's supposed to just hang there or what, but it's gonna for now. Mass airflow sensor in the right direction. I am a goddamn mess. Talking to myself, yeah. If the amount of time that it took me to install the downpipe is any indicator, I'm gonna be here for at least seven more hours. When you try this at home, unplug this. I just, I just, it's, it's, I think the tab's broken for me. Take off the front piece here, because this one's a lot easier to attach. Okay, so maybe pre-assembling this whole thing wasn't the greatest idea. But I didn't know. Now you know. This is gonna go on first. Okay, that does fit. Okay, I can see if you've done this job before, it would probably be pretty easy to do again. Especially coming from a Ford Mustang. The engine bay was pretty big. Oh, you I just dropped the chode down the tube. Okay, good news is I can see it. Let's see if I can pull them out. No, they don't fit. I'm gonna phone a friend. What's going on? Uh, I'm installing my cold air intake. Uh, it's going really smoothly, except for one thing. The tube that leads down to the turbo, yeah, the inlet, uh, I accidentally dropped my chode screwdriver down there. You got a magnet or something? You're gonna need like a telescope and magnet. Otherwise, you're gonna have to just take shit apart and get at it. I'll borrow Bob's Jeep and take a quick run and see what I can find. Just make sure when you go to reach in there, don't... Uh, Push it down any farther. Don't like do anything until you know you're gonna be yeah. on it.
comment below if you'd like to see a full video on this 06 Jeep Grand Cherokee, because I know I don't, but I might make one anyway. Oh, 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 parts. All right, I really didn't think it was gonna take this long, but I have needle nose pliers. Another thing that fell in my engine bay. I'm gonna try and get that out of the inlet here. Oh, yes, I got the jode. I'm praying, I'm praying that I did not nick any of the, the blades. Maybe I should just like call it quits and never do YouTube again. It's raining. <laughs> I got it. Suck a dick. I worked on like a, a German kind of hallmark film that was shot in the North Shore of Boston. So three quarters of the entire crew and cast were German. And the saying, anytime something would go wrong was the Germans. And that's exactly how I feel right now. When everything is difficult to work on in this car, I just want to say, the Germans slap this on here. It doesn't even matter that I broke it. Okay, here we go. I don't know if this coolant line goes underneath the, I assume it goes underneath the intake. Take the boot off of the intake here. I'm doing it completely backwards, but that's okay. You're learning, I'm learning, we're learning. We're so close. Okay, this needs to push back. Maybe I don't have the boots on tight enough. It's not gonna fit. Thirty-four degrees out. All right, I'm gonna let this warm up for a second. We'll come right back and we'll do a test. Okay, we're all heated up. So I have the lav microphone mounted directly to the airbox heat shield. So it should give us some. Um... Love it already. I guess this is just a supporting kind of modification for the tune. The real biggest difference with a cold air intake like this is, of course, going to be the sound. I'm just tapping the throttle. You can hear sucking in air. <laughs> so beforehand in this car, you could not hear the turbo spool. Maybe if you were next to like a Jersey barrier or something like that, but now it's a little more audible. It's mainly just that whooshing sound that you get with a cold air intake. You can hear the turbo a little bit. It's a very high pitch because it's a small turbo. I'm gonna give it a good, a good pull here. Let's see. That is a weird noise. A little over 4,000 RPM, you get this kind of whistling noise. Let's see if I can do it again. Exactly sure what that is. Is that maybe just the um, like the air pattern as it flows through? Uh, is it causing turbulence or something? If you guys have any ideas, let me know. One thing I do notice though, not necessarily more power, but I notice that the turbo spools a lot faster. So it feels like I have a little more torque in the low end because my throttle response is just a little bit quicker. But God, just that <laughs> that sound is worth it. We try it with the windows down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No phone connected. Please connect a paired phone. In order You're to pair a new phone, follow the instructions ruining in the phone it. menu Stop. of your car. the turbo spool a little more when the windows are down. I'm like 2,000 
working right now. It's awesome, right? 1800 RPM. I'm just giving it a little gas, not lugging it. You can actually hear it more in that those lugging situations because the engine is trying to combine more air with the fuel. So it's sucking in more air. Oh, 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 that's so cool. Do you think it could be like a like a break-in period or something? Let that turbo simmer. Seriously, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, if you like what you saw, consider subscribing. I'm trying to come up with more content on the reg, but sometimes I have spaces in between my videos because I'm trying to make a longer, higher quality piece for you guys to watch. But on that note, I hope you guys enjoy your holidays and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.